Bruce and Jonathan's Imaging Critique. Y'all ready for this? All right, our first image here is uh, some bilateral feet. According to what we see here, the, the film looks like it's exposed pretty decently. We can see the joint spaces are very clear and the bones are also very clear. Um, the S number for this particular film is 163, so it's well within range because the typical range for, for feet is between 75 and 200. Um, the technique that was used was 60 kbp at four mass and that's that's about right uh, next film is a lateral l-spine optimal technique for lateral l-spine is around 75 kbp at 80 mass uh, the, the technique used on this particular film does not appear adequate uh, the l5 sacrum area of the film appears underpenetrated um, the patient is rotated, but the film was taken in the OR, so that's understandable. You can't really do much because the patient is in a sterile field. Uh, the S number range for L spine is between 75 and 200 as well. The S number for this particular film is 152, so it's in range. The next image that we have is a portable chest. Um, <clears throat> from what we're seeing here, Looks like there was a good technique. The technique for this film was 110 kvp at 3.2 mass. Uh, the film demonstrates good lung markings and also we can tell that there was sufficient penetration and exposure because we can also see the vertebral bodies um, posterior to the lungs themselves. The only thing that really seems wrong in this in this film is two things. One, Obviously, the guide wire sh should have been removed, but it could have been under circumstances that they could not have been, and that's why the film was passable. The S number for this film was 183, and that tells us that it's perfectly in range um, because a standard range S number is from 100 to 400. The next film is a portable KUB. Uh, KUB stands for kidney, ureter, or bladder. Optimal technique for a portable KUB is around 80 kbp at 40 mass. The film appears to be underexposed. Uh, the patient's obviously obese, so that probably has a lot to do with it. Me and Jonathan think a more appropriate technique could, could be uh, 80 kbp at 80 mass. There's an artifact present in the middle of the film. It looks like possibly a gown button. Typical S number range for portable KUB is between 200 and 400. The S number on this film is 105. The positioning is passable but not optimal. Uh, patient is slightly off center to the left side. Uh, there's no rotation present. All right, this is our next film. Next film indicates an AP skull. The S range for an AP skull is between 75 and 200. So <clears throat> it looks like our film is, is good because the S number is 150 so there's adequate technique used and sufficient penetration. We can tell this because the Petrus ridges are uh, demonstrated well along with frontal sinus. Um, the optimal technique be used for a typical skulls around 75 kvp at around 20 mass. Um, that's what was used here and that gives us the adequate pen penetration and uh, good exposure for this particular film. Um, some things that are wrong with this film would include the wiring artifact. Um, it's possible that the patient is in a neuro unit and the wiring could not have been removed. Um, so again, that's why the why the film was passable under those circumstances. And another thing too that we that we feel is wrong with it, optical the optimal angulation for an AP skull is around 30 degrees. Um, this film does not seem to show that whatsoever. It seems like it's it's not adequately angled. And also, if you look very closely, if you look at the ramus of the mandible, it seems to be like it, there is some slight rotation to the right because the left side is a little more in profile. 
Um, other than that, it's overall good film besides the artifact and the angulation of the tube itself. Okay, our last image is a, a oblique fluoroscopic image of the abdomen. There's no S number given the, with the PAX system we use. They don't give S numbers for the fluoro images. Uh, the, the technique does look good. It is accurately penetrated. Um, the surgical hardware is clearly visualized. The bowels are visualized well. Uh, it look, appears to be a, some kind of contrast study being performed. Uh, you notice uh, the rotation of the patient and the hardware might possibly indicate that the patient has cerebral palsy and they can't lay supine or prone. Um, not much else to say about the image. It could possibly be maybe a uh, clangiogram. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because of the contrast study, maybe taking some, some duct work. Um, could be, you know, anything from from a clangiogram or even uh, like a functional study. It's, it's unknown. It's, and again, it's instant fluoro, and we don't really know exactly what the study was or what it consisted of. But obviously, again, if the film was was adequate in exposure, contrast is, is visual, bowels are visual, and the um, surgical hardware is visible.